What's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. It is time for another American haul. Everything in this video is from here in the USA, which means that I will put links down below as well as pricing in case you are interested in purchasing any of these items. They are all from the last few months, so some of these are still in stock. So I'll give you a full review of each of these products and then let you know where you can purchase them. So let's go ahead and get started. I am so excited. Let's start with the first item, which is this hoodie from Forever 21. Now I did try this on and do kind of a test fit to make sure it fit correctly. This is a size medium. You can tell that it is a little bit big and baggy on me, but it feels perfect. It is so comfy and the inside of it has this nice fleece material. So it's very, very nice to wear. It just feels so soft and I love the art quality on here. It's actually printed like into the fabric. So if you wash this, you're not gonna end up with a bunch of tears or anything like that. I do prefer it when companies use this kind of print style as opposed to just like transposing an image to like on top of the product, like with vinyl or that kind of plasticky feel for art. Uh, this one is actually, it feels like it's printed into the material, which is good. Uh, I find that to be a little bit higher quality because it lasts longer. These are a light pink. I think they are super cute and they work really well with the aesthetic of this hoodie. I feel like it's kind of vintage-esque even though it's using the newer Sailor Moon logo. And when I wear this, it reaches all the way down like past my butt. So it's got a very nice long feel to it. It's just comfy all around. It's got the full pocket on the front, the kangaroo pocket. So just a great hoodie and I really like it. I'm gonna wear this all the time in the winter, which is wonderful here for Colorado. I purchased this during 2022 holiday season. Uh, this is made by Just Funky and it's another stocking. We did get a couple of stockings previously. So this is a newer one. I really like the moon stick on the front of it. I thought that was so pretty. And it's almost got like this, it's really soft. The material's kind of like a, like a soft suede almost. It feels good. Like it's very velvety and it's very comfortable to hold. And I love the print on here. You can tell that it's a little bit wrinkly. So this is the other kind of art print style where they kind of transpose the image on the top of the fabric. Uh, so that could tear over time. So that tells me I need to take care of this so it doesn't start ripping or peeling. But it's a very cute stocking. I think this will be wonderful for decorating next year during the holiday season in here. And it does come with this cute little tag as well. Again, this is made by Just Funky. Oh, and they do have this really nice quilted material on the inside. Uh, which is cute. So it feels, it feels good. It feels like a really nice quality other than how they printed the front of it. I have a bunch of items down here next to me from Box Lunch and Hot Topic. Uh, I don't remember which site I ordered all these items from, so I'll just put the links down below so that you know. Uh, this is the first item I wanted to share with you. These are a pair of crew socks. Now crew socks, these are sized for men and these are in a size eight to 12 shoe size. Although I'm a size eight women's shoes and I found these fit perfectly. So they were very comfortable to wear. Uh, you will notice if you have larger calves like I do that the art will kind of get stretched over time if you're wearing these around your calves. But if you scrunch them down like a classic crew sock, then you're not gonna have that issue. Um, I was wearing these with my Vans slides and I thought they were so cute and so comfortable. They are rather thin materials, so definitely not super thick for like the winter time, but really, really cute to wear. So if you like crew socks, these ones are adorable. I love the print of Artemis and Luna on here, little chibi styles of them. And then they have a whole bunch of little icons in this purple art. So one thing you know, if you've watched this channel previously, which you should, and if you have not, please do subscribe. I always appreciate it. I'm not a huge fan of tie-dye. I've gotten kind of sick of it. Uh, but I did buy this hoodie because the hoodie looked nice. <laughs> now this one, I think I might return. I'm still a little iffy on it. Uh, this is a size large. They were sold out of my size, which probably would have been a small or a medium, probably small. So I got a large. It is definitely large on me. This is a men's size large. It's big. Uh, the cost is $54.90 retail. 
before any of the discounts that Hot Topic usually has. So this is from Hot Topic, but I love the art on the front of this. I love the print. It's so cute. And it's a print that we haven't seen on a lot of items. So I really like this style. I thought it was cute. I love that it's a big print on the front of it. I just don't like that it's tie dye and it's a little too big for me. These sides are also very adorable. We have a print of all of the planetary symbols on one sleeve. The other sleeve says Sailor Moon in English with a little crescent moon on the front. This one also has a similar like fleece fabric to this Forever 21 hoodie, but I have to say, I kind of like the one from Forever 21 a little bit more. It feels a little bit softer. So of these two, I would say my favorite is definitely this one from Forever 21. So if you're looking for a new hoodie, if you like tie-dye, here you go. If you don't, if you want a hot pink one like this one, there you go. What else did I get? Oh, I got these. They're so cool. Okay, both of these are awesome. I love them. They are so cute. I'm obsessed. Like I'm, I love beanies anyway, because I wear them all the time. This one's from Hot Topic, although I think it's on Box Lunch's website as well. It's super, super soft, kind of thin, a thinner material. Uh, this one, it's sort of tie-dye. It's more of like a pink wash to it. But yeah, here's the print. So you can kind of tell that it looks like a pink wash. We do have this embroidery of a hot pink Cosmic Heart Compact on the front. I love that it's embroidered. That's very nice. And the back of this says Sailor Moon Crystal. This is a very comfortable beanie. Most beanies are. Um, sometimes I find beanies to be a little bit too big for my head. And I will say that's kind of, that's the same thing for both of these, but it's so cute. I love it. So if you're looking for a cute beanie, if you've been wanting a Sailor Moon beanie, then here you go. Here's a licensed one. I think it's super great. I love it. Which brings me to the second beanie that I also purchased. This one is a little bit more of a thicker material and I bought this from Box Lunch. It's made by BioWorld. This one has kitty ears for Luna and the kitty ears do stick up. They're so cute though. It's so cute to wear. And we have a little stylization of Luna right here on the front. Now, the one thing that I will add with this one is why didn't they put an embroidered crescent moon like right there? Wouldn't that have been super cute? So one of my Instagram followers actually recommended like embroidering a crescent moon on the front of her beanie. And I think I might do the same. I think that's a really smart idea. And that way you'll get like the full effect of a Luna beanie. But again, this one's very comfortable. It's very thick. So this one's probably a little bit more warm to wear than the thinner material of the Cosmic Heart Compact one. But again, very, very cute, highly recommend. This I have not taken out of the bag yet. Should I take it out of the bag? I might as well. We have gotten so many throw blankets over the past couple of years that at some point you're just gonna like run out of space if you try to buy them all, so I don't buy them all. I tend to prefer the ones that have art of the Sailor Guardians. So if it does not have art of the Guardians, it's probably not gonna end up in my collection. So this one does not have any kind of fleecing texture on the back. It's just plain pink and it's very thin. It's a thin blanket, but look at the print. It's so pretty. I love it. It's so cute. So this reminds me of some of the stationery and some of the t-shirts that we've gotten over the past couple of years. It's got this really pretty gradient going on in the background and I love the print quality of the Sailor Guardians on the front of it. This blanket is 46 by 60. So it's a decent size for a throw blanket. And this is what the full piece of art looks like. So I love the gradient print. I think it's really beautiful. And the print quality is clear enough in this fabric that you can actually see what's going on there. I think it's gorgeous. So if you're looking for a blanket, if you don't have one yet, this is a really cute one. This was made by Great Eastern Entertainment, which is another one of those merchandisers or manufacturers that you will see a lot of licensed pieces from here in the US. This is a really gorgeous bowl and uh, chopstick and spoon set that I saw online. I feel like at some point we're gonna have way too many of these and maybe we're at that point now. But I always fall into this issue where I really like the art print and then I'm like, oh, I'll find a place for it or I'll find a use for it, even though I already have like 20 of them. I believe I got this from Box Lunch. A few things to notate about this is it was $26.90 retail cost, 
before any coupons. It's made by Just Funky. Similar to several items that are here in America, it is hand wash only, don't soak, don't microwave. So it's not safe to put in the microwave or soak or heat up or anything like that, which is very unfortunate. Um, I prefer items to be dishwasher safe so I can actually use them and not feel like it's just giving me more work. So this will be a collector piece, not a piece that I use all the time, but it is very pretty. Uh, these usually come with simple wooden chopsticks. So I, I don't really use those. I prefer to use the chopsticks that I've purchased from Japan. They seem to work a lot better. This does come with a really pretty spoon. I think it's ceramic, feels like it, but it's got an iridescent handle and there's a little hole in the handle. And this is the ramen bowl. I love the size of this. This is perfect size. And it's more of a classic ramen bowl in that it does not have a hole for the chopsticks to sit in. So normally you don't find that traditional ramen bowls have like holes in them. This is more of a traditional style. So I do like that too about this piece. I love the iridescent art on it. It goes all the way around, it's 360. There's a crescent moon on the back. And then of course we have Luna on the front. So this would be very, very cute and I would use it all the time, but unfortunately it is hand wash only. Let me know if you like it anyway, if it's something that you would use even though it's hand wash only. I'm finding that I am so busy that I just prefer dishwasher safe stuff. Okay, these are three cute little goods that I got from Stunned Mind. I did do a review on these already on my Instagram page. So if you wanna see a full review of these, check out my Instagram, which is Sailor Snubs. It's the same name as this YouTube channel. They sent me a cute little gift package of these cork lined coasters. So there's five of them in this pack. I also received this very cute tumbler, which features all of Sailor Moon's different wands and her compacts. Really cute and it's got glitter in it. And a notebook. So this notebook is also really pretty. It features these very cute bookmarks that are stuck in here. So they're kind of stuck onto the binding, but they are very beautiful like stained glass images of each of the inner Sailor Guardians. So if you want to check out those full reviews at Sailor Snubs on Instagram, it's the best way to do that. And thank you to Stun Mind for sending these over. They're very cute. So I have shown you previously volume one of the Naoko Takeuchi English version of the manga, which is the newest collection that you can purchase. These are a little bit smaller. They're pretty thick, but this makes them a little bit easier to travel around with. They are also less expensive. So if you want a version of the manga that can kind of go through some wear and tear, this would be a good option. Uh, for example, retail price on this is $12.99 in the US. So that's not a bad price at all for the manga, especially if you wanna collect another collection of them. There's many, many different versions of them now, but these do have a new translation. So, so far, this is probably the best translation that you can get. Not too much to say about these. If you have already seen my other previous reviews of the Sailor Moon manga, then this is the same exact manga. It's just reprinted and it's rebinded into this new format and they're calling it the Naoko Takeuchi collection. But if you have previous volumes, you don't want a new volume. There's no reason to repurchase these. I do because I'm a collector, but as you can see, it's still black and white. There is a little piece of color art on the front and that's about it. So generally it's the exact same other than those little, those little differences. Now, before I get into some international release items that I was able to purchase here in America, uh, this is the last item that I got from like Hot Topic Box Lunch, those places where you can get licensed items. This is also made from Just Funky and this is another really cute soup mug with a spoon. So again, with every other item that we get here in the US, this one is also gentle hand wash only. Do not soak, do not microwave. So another one that you can't necessarily use unless you wanna put in some work. Oh, this one comes with a certificate of authenticity. So with this one, we have the Cosmic Heart Compact on the back of this spoon. That's very cute. Nice little additional piece of art there. And we have this nice big mug. I really like the size of this mug too. It's very large. It's kind of heavy too. And you can put your soup spoon in the handle. How cool is that? Oh my God, I love that. That is so useful. What a nice little addition. Like that's, that's so useful. Little things like that always make me happy. We have a gold foil crescent moon on the back. 
I forgot what a crescent moon is for a second there. We have a pink interior there. And then we have Sailor Moon on the front with some gold foil stars surrounding her. This is really cute, adorable, but again, hand wash only. Urgh, gotta get away from that, guys. Okay, I just have a few remaining items to show you from this American haul. Uh, these, I'm not sure if they are licensed or not. I put them on my holiday wish list and one of my family members bought them for me, which I was very excited about because these are very cute notebooks. So it looks like they're from Korea, but they were available on Amazon. So I'll put a link down below for them. And they do have the Toei Animation logo on the back of them. And they do have a little like licensing sticker, but I don't know if that means that they are actually licensed items. So keep that in mind if you are a like die hard only by the licensed things because maybe you don't want these but they're pretty and they're really cute notebooks and i love notebooks because i use them all the time in my work so this one is holographic i love it and it's got this really cute print up at the top that says moon cosmic power i love the crescent moon and the art the art does not necessarily look licensed. So I'm leaning towards no, these are not licensed, but they're cute, so I wanted to include them. And I like that they have a Luna print up at the top in the notebook. This one has a gold foil print of Luna on the front of it. Uh, this one has a gold foil print of the Cosmic Heart brooch, as well as Artemis in white. And then we have gold foil Sailor Moon crystal with the planetary icons and symbols as constellations. Okay, let's open some items that are found internationally. So the first item I have here is an Ichiban Kuji figure. This is not the last one version, although I did find that for a great price while I was in Tokyo back in December. This one I was able to get off of Right Stuff Anime. Right Stuff is a great website to purchase anime goods that are usually available for great retail prices with a little bit of a heftier price for shipping because these often come from Japan or other places. So you know that they are legit because just like several other items that I've shown on this channel, they do come with the Toei licensing sticker up at the top showing that it's an authentic item. This came out back in, I wanna say 2020. It's a really cute figure of Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon. When I first saw the art for this online, I was like, Oh, that's nice. They look dead inside. But I saw a few of these in person while I was in Japan and they do look a lot better in person. So I did wanna get this version, which is the common version, as well as the other version, the last one prize, uh, which I'll show you separately if I have not already done so on this channel. So they do have a little bit more emotion to them in person than they did when we first saw the art for these. And they are very cute. Uh, these are relatively inexpensive. You can generally find them on websites like Hot Topic as well as Right Stuff. So I'll put a link down below to these if they are still in stock. You can see Sailor Moon, she's kind of smiling while Chibusa or Sailor Chibi Moon is laying on her lap. It's a really cute piece. They're sitting on a cute little column. The column isn't marbleized or anything like that, uh, which I would say is a difference between this one and the Princess Serenity figure that was in Ichiban Kuji previously. But they do have some gold foil for the paint. For example, right here on her crescent moons, at the top of her boots. This is not the pearlescent version. So this is like a matte paint style, but they look good overall. I would say if you can find these for a good price, like under 50 bucks, go for it. Anything over that, I don't know if they would be worth it, but they are very, very cute. So I'm happy to add this to my collection. Cute. This one was also purchased from Right Stuff Anime. I believe some of these items were only available as crane game items, but some somehow Right Stuff ends up with plenty of inventory so I'm always able to find these for a decent price through right stuff. I need to start like a whole shelf of Luna figures because I'm ending up with several. <laughs> oh she's cute. Would this be the perfect size to display with my Volk dolls? I wonder. I'm gonna have to try that because my Volk dolls are really tall and this one looks like it might be the correct size to stick next to them and make it look like one-to-one -one size. I'll have to check. But this is called the Sof V Mates. Sof V Mates? Soft, how do you say that? I don't know. <laughs> but this is a Luna figure from that company. Soft V mates, soft V mates, I don't know. It's the Luna figure. It is a licensed item from Japan. She's hollow on the inside. 
she is plastic, not too much going on here, but the print quality is very good. She looks great. Uh, she was very light. She does have little foot pads, which I think is very, very cute. And I don't see any issues with her paint quality. So this is a very cute little figure. This is adorable. I like it. She's so cute. Aw, my little baby Luna. She's like a kitten size. She's a kitten. Okay, enough squealing about the adorable kitten size Luna. Moving on. I don't really have a video that I can fit this into, but I wanted to share this with you too. Uh, this is from my friend in Ireland who sometimes sends me really cool items from Ireland that we can't get here in the US. This is made by BioWorld which does plenty of licensed products. So this is a licensed Sailor Moon tumbler from Ireland. So this was a birthday present from my friend and I wanted to share it with you because it's so cute and I hadn't seen anybody share this. It matches, it matches my hoodie. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love that she has the pink bow, it's hot pink. We've got the, oop, there you go. We have the English Sailor Moon logo on the side and it's a stainless steel tumbler. It's a water bottle, 17 ounces, can do hot or cold. I'll have to wash it out, obviously, but it's just a simple stainless steel water bottle. I think it's cool. I love it. I'm gonna use this so much. I don't know if it's hand wash only. It probably is. Vacuum sealed water bottle. Keep hot for 12 hours. Keep cold for 24 hours. Hand wash before use. Do not use a microwave or dishwasher. Uh, don't use harsh, harsh abrasive cleaners. Yeah, because they'll mess up the art. Don't use with fizzy or carbonated drinks. Yeah, don't use any water bottles with fizzy or carbonated drinks. You can really screw it up and they could blow the top off. That's an actual thing. This is cute. I like it a lot. So thank you so much to my friend in Ireland. This was such a great gift and it's so adorable. Y'all remember the fluffy puffies that I showed previously, this is the new line of Fluffy Puffies. We have Luna and Artemis. Right Stuff Anime again for these. We have Artemis over here, which is the B version for this line of Fluffy Puffies. These again were crane game items. Luna is the A figure. I'm telling y'all, I need to start a whole collection, a whole shelf of like cat figures. <laughs> On the first line of Fluffy Puffies, my Artemis had like a yellow stain next to his eye. It was super weird. And sometimes I feel like that happens with these little figures from Crane Games, like they aren't the best quality. These look good. These look really good. So here we have Luna. She's got a cute little collar of, of rose, cute little bow on her neck, on her collar. That's adorable. And she's got little toe beans, they're pink. I love her little pink paw pads. And we have Artemis over here. He's got a cute little rose collar as well with a yellow bow. So cute. Oh my gosh. And he's got little pink pads too on his paws. So fluffy puffies are, they're kind of this like felt texture and they look so cute. They're a bit heavier than what you would think. Uh, it almost feels like they're solid on the inside. Maybe they are, I don't know, but really, really cute. These are one of those items that like, if you can find it for a good price, might as well get them because they're adorable. Is that all my stuff? It is. Yay, I did it. Okay, so that is everything from my American haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have questions about any of these goodies down below in the comments. Thank you for subscribing and for watching this video. Thanks for sharing it too. If you found anything of value in here, uh, please do feel free to share the videos that I post here. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, which is Sailor Snubs, where I do a lot of immediate reviews so you don't have to wait a long time for these unboxing videos. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. Jenny.